Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. It's the finale of the 2023 Advent Tournament. Welcome to the Bourbon Van's 2023 Advent Whiskey Tournament, presented by Bull Run Distillery and their extensive award-winning line of craft spirits. Well, here we are. Day 23, four different whiskeys on the table, which couldn't make me happier. I'm so excited for this matchup. <laughs> Yesterday, you were representing Norman. Today, I'm repping Mavis. Yeah. Uh, we bring the, it's a family affair here at the Bourbon Van. Of course, on my side, I suspect that it is the Bourbon Van. On your side, it's the Rye Station Wagon, I think. <laughs> it, I feel like maybe a Julie moved forward her rise this time. It seems like that's what happened. Before we get started today, I just want to say an enormous thank you. First off, to everybody who sent whiskeys in. You guys are fantastic. We could not have done this this year without you. This has been our favorite Advent tournament yet because being fully blind, we literally have no idea what's going on. We've been surprised almost every single day. Peach Coke, we have to give you a huge shout out because without you, we wouldn't have had these amazing matchups. Seriously, the matchups from the very first round. I know you guys saw this when you were filling out your brackets. <laughs> they have been phenomenal and they have led down the road to some unbelievable matchups as well. And then finally, we couldn't have done any of this if it wasn't for Bull Run Distillery. Thank you so much for donating your time and working with us and contributing four whiskeys to the cause. And tonight, we are going to pick our winners and tomorrow we're going to announce who won. We're also going to do an eggnog challenge and we're going to talk all sorts of other details and specifics and analytics about the tournament. So don't think this is the last day of the tournament. We've got one more day. <laughs> Stick around for the 24th day of the tournament. But tonight we are going to pick a winner. Now it's time to get on to it. You are drinking number six and number 18. What that means? I have no idea. <laughs> I, Julie's number one. Julie's all number right, one. Okay, she's number four, number one. This has been a competition all along. <laughs> and number 29. I went from the first to the last. I'm including everybody in the mix. Fantastic. Well, there's nothing left to do but get on with it. And I'm excited to sniff these and sip these. And do all the things we like to do with whiskey. Do you think they're going to smell and taste different than the previous 100 rounds that we've already done? I hope not. Because they were awesome. They deserve to be here, both of these. Man, it's great. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I was actually anticipating. Smells so good. I was anticipating mine to kind of smell the same. Different. So There's I'm happy. So now I'm going to spend that? a little bit of time. Yeah. See, you don't underestimate these whiskeys. When you get to the finals, you've got something good going on. I On my glass number one, which is number one, wonderful rye spice. Oak, vanilla bean, sugar, like a brown sugar sweetness, minimal fruit. Mine is, I feel bad because what if this isn't a rye, but it feels rye-tastic. I, yeah, based on what I remember about that glass, I agree. <laughs> These two glasses here have a lot in common. All along, I thought that whiskey number six was an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof product. But then in the last round, I started to think that maybe it was a Barton. Ah. But I've never had a well-aged, which I think this is, I've yeah. never had a well-aged Barton that was over like 105 proof. Mm. This drinks like it's 115 or more. Oh, nice. Drinking these blind makes me second guess and third guess and fourth guess myself into I oblivion. And I love it. I love it. I love how neurotic I get during the tournament. It's great. <laughs> One of the things I liked about moving them both forward is that they were going to be a good match, and I think it is going to be a good match. But on the noses, quite different on mine. I think phenomenal matchup over here. Yeah. These, these both smell like they've got some age to them, like they've got some complexity to them, like it's everything that I'm looking for in a whiskey. I can't wait to get into this. Should we start on the right or the left today? My feeling is I want to start on the left, only okay. because I think... If I remember correctly, it's the least of the stronger flavors. A little less still, powerful. Still strong, but not as overpowering as my glass number one. And so I want to give that one a fair shake. If my guesses are correct, glass number one for me might be a little bit higher proof. Ah, so okay. let's start on the left. I like it. Well, our last cheers of the Advent Tournament competition. Good luck, everybody. Licorice. Tobacco. 
rye spice or just spices, but I really do think it's a rye. I think I got all the same things except Vanilla. the rye spice for me contributes to a higher rye bourbon, maybe. A nice oak. <laughs> what if these are new riff? Oh, oh I never even no. thought about that. <laughs> then whoever sent My them to us is out. <laughs> You're out next year. First impression on uh, glass number two, do you think you made a mistake? No. (laughs) No, I mean, did I have some amazing things along the way? Absolutely. It's just the way the mashups fall, right? Like, it's so strange to me that I could be in this situation if these are both rise. We still don't know. Which, goodness, if they're not, then (sighs) cashing it in. But um, how strange that of over all the 32, right? Yep. 32 selections that these are the two that I would select. I mean, yeah. if you know me, you know, you know right my girl. lane. I want it sweet or I want it spicy. So maybe if we do that Christmas in July, we'll have to be more like discerning, like not so much joy. Or maybe we'll just knock it down to 16 bottles and plow through. That sounds nice. <laughs> oh, dang. That's good, too. Wow, these are rise. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I like wow, this is these. really powerful. I like these a lot, a lot. Mm. I, I, ask me if there's a whiskey I like more than a friend. Is it in your glass right it's now? In glass number one, at least. It's probably in glass number two as well. These are great. It's probably sitting behind you too. There might be a. Couple. I mean, maybe not what's in your glass is sitting behind you, but like, there's definitely whiskeys behind you that you like more than a friend. I'm winking at you, single barrel bull run. What's up? <laughs> Oh boy, glass number one is a giver. It just keeps on with the fruit and the vanilla and the oak and the layers, <laughs> the complexity, that age is showing up again. I, if this turns out to be like a three year whiskey, I am gonna shut down this channel. I honestly think that this whiskey is like, I'm starting to think it's more. Like I was thinking originally Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I don't remember Elijah Craig Barrel Proof ever having this sort of age type flavor on it. I, I would go, I think I said 12 years the other day. Yeah. I would go 14, 15 years on this. There is some beautiful complexity that can only come with age. And if it's from Solera aging, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I feel like I've had some like weak sauce uh, proofs in the last few that I've had. These Not both, today. Yeah, these both feel a little bit in my wheelhouse. Like around that 107 we like to do our drinking. These mm-hmm. feel like they're in the 10-somethings. Yeah. I think that we've At least the one on the right, because that's the one I just drank. We definitely eliminated a lot from every direction. Anything Mm -hmm. over 120 was seemingly eliminated. Obviously, these could be over 120. I have no idea. But it seems like we eliminated anything that was too high proof and too low proof. Right. And we're wound up in the middle near where we like to do our drinking. I think that that's a safe assessment. Again, no idea. And I could be proven completely wrong. But that's how it feels like we wound up here. Mm Mm-hmm. Would you like to know where I'm at? I would love to. I have a decision. What? Already? Already. Mavis is, wants to say hi. She doesn't make too many she's appearances, such, but she's, she's being such, a, such a good girl, and she wants to be here on the last day. What a nugget. I feel like I could make a decision, but I want to give this just a couple more shakeouts, and then I'll be ready. Yeah, have a shakeout with your whiskey. Whoa. Oh. Got a, some tail action there. <laughs> Drink whiskey, get tail. The bourbon van. Put it on a shirt, cut it, print it, make that money. So I do think that I'm ready on this. Do, are alert. you ready? I am ready. Before we can off the winners of today, day 23, and of the 2023 Advent Tournament, again, we just want to say thank you so much. Not only for the people that provided the whiskeys, you guys are wonderful, we love you, those are our Patreons, mm-hmm. amazing, but also to everyone who's watched these videos over the last 23 days. It's a lot of whiskey tube to watch, so <laughs> we really appreciate you. Yeah. I feel like what you're saying, subscribe. Yeah. Maybe I think subscribe. it's the first time that we've said that. But Why not? Go ahead yeah. and jump in, subscribe. And also to all of you that took the time to fill out the brackets and you're a part oh of this my thing. Gosh. You've been with us from day one of this tournament. Thank you so much for joining us. We've had a blast. We hope you've had as much fun as we had. Now let's find out what is being eliminated on the last day of the tournament. A three, a two, a one. Oh, I Glass love number that. one for both of us. I love that. All right. The glasses that we started with are actually the glasses that have been eliminated today. True. And let's find out what these are. Let's grab our envelopes. We're going to let you know what they are. We're going to find out what they are. Matter of fact, we're going to grab all four envelopes because yeah. today we get to find out the last four whiskeys of the tournament. Here we go. I'm so excited. <laughs> I literally, I'm so excited. I cannot believe it. We're going to start with me. 
Number 29, runner up. All right. Do you want, are you drinking to see what I've yeah, eliminated? I'm curious. What do you think? Do we think Julie was totally wrong and these aren't both fries? I think there's a hint of maple syrup oh, right there. Goodness. And that's <laughs> awfully tasty. That's, that's very good whiskey. It deserves to be here. It's a 10 year. What is it? It's delicious. Do you have any idea? Um, I honestly have no idea at all. Maybe it's like a Redemption 10 or something. So I will say, it is where we like to do our drinking. 104 proof, Templeton Rye 10 year. Templeton, how about that? It is from our friend Jerry Garcia, AKA Peach Coke. How did you make it to the final? Unbelievable. I feel like that's cheating. How about that? The Templeton, <laughs> another brand that we don't pay that much attention right. to. Right. But holy moly, that's good whiskey. Delicious. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Peach Coke, for organizing the whole thing. And look at you, at least one whiskey in the final. Let's find out. You think he's got more in here? He better not. <laughs> but he, I'll be honest, he knows what I like to drink. He does know what you like to drink. <laughs> so your runner-up was number 18. 18, yeah. I honestly have no idea what this is. The more I drank it, the more I thought, this could be a rye. Can I try it? Sure. Holy smokes, this is <laughs> this is a long one. You got a lot of information there? Oh, Rusty's gonna be so sad that he was in runner-up position. RD1 distilling? I don't know what that is. Okay, good. <laughs> Old William Tar, Manchester Reserve, 114 proof, seven year. It's a blend of eight year rye and seven year bourbon. No Delicious. wonder I was so confused and I was like, I think it might be a rye. Holy cow, that's awesome whiskey. I've heard of William Tarr. I have never tried it. I've never seen it. Love that, it. Fantastic, because I can't tell you how close that came to winning here. Yeah. This is the kind of bottle that I kind of wish won because we can't get it here. We've never tried it never before. Seen it. We've never seen it before. And it's the kind of stuff that I get excited about. Like, yeah. let's try something new, 114 proof. Beautiful proof point. Oh, man. Thank you, Rusty. You were so close. What a great sample that was. Thank you so much, Rust. That, I don't, did it say what that cost? Oh, it didn't. Yeah. Because no. it didn't taste cheap. That tastes, <laughs> I, whatever you're getting it for out there. Yeah. And I honestly don't know. I don't know anything about that whiskey. I really enjoyed that. And it knocked out some stellar whiskeys yeah. along the way for me. That is very, very tasty whiskey that deserves to be here. Now it's time to get to the winners for both of us. You're up first. All right. What have you got in envelope number one? I can't believe it. All the way from the first round. I mean, both of them are, but number one on the list, which I don't know means they sent it in first or it was just the way that... I think it's just the way it worked out. Can I tell you what I think this is? I would love that because you've been hinting that you've known kind of what this might be. For a while now, so yeah. I'm curious. I tasted two rye whiskeys yeah. this year that both gave me a real vibe, like a feeling mm -hmm. that it took me back to like my grandparents' house mm. in Highland, Indiana, way back. I'm talking 30 years ago. I time traveled on this whiskey. I could be totally way off on this. One of them was Oregon Spirits Bottled and Bond rye, which is fantastic. The other one was actually this bottle up here, John A.P. Connolly. Oh, it's the Limited Reserve Rye Whiskey Single Barrel. I do barrel. like that one. I don't know how in the world either one of those whiskeys would wind up in this tournament. So this would be the third whiskey that I tasted that that happened with. I'm very curious to find out if I'm right on this or if I'm way off. But it, whatever it was, I think it's rye and I think it's great. So I'm happy to report that I'm not crazy. Both of mine were rice. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm glad to hear it. Because I've had a real rough season and, you know, <laughs> figuring out what's what is a rye. And this is a Marty Whiskey Nose, which I believe is the only sample he put in this we year. We haven't heard Marty's name this entire year. You went all in. You're like, this is the one. I'm doing it. Yeah, how about we drop one whiskey in yeah, this tournament he dropped and the just mic. dominate. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So the winner for Julie is Boak Sound Distillery. John Connolly Rye, 114 proof, which is the same one that we have currently on the shelf, which I did love from the first sip. We have liked it from the first sip. Look, it's a cool bottle. It's a great whiskey. It is a great bottle. And, uh, well, I don't know how accessible this is, but uh, North Carolina, I have a feeling you're about to be on the whiskey map with this one. That is a great Great whiskey. Love Fantastic. It. Well done, Marty. Well, there you go. That's your whiskey of the Advent Tournament. How do you yeah. feel? It's kind of like whiskey of the year for me. Like, yeah. uh, apparently Julie wants a rye and she wants this rye. <laughs>
Marty Brisky knows. Thank you so much. You knew your audience. I loved it. Nailed it. Well done. All right. Are you ready? Can I have Can I have a sip of yours? Have are a you... sip. What do you think of my winner? Do you like it? I do like it. It coats really well. I'm going to say, I, I'm not disappointed with mine. So I can't wait to find out what it is. What do you got there? This is really exciting because, one, I will say it is well aged. 14 years is what you're drinking right now. Is it Kelly Met Farm 14? It isn't, no. Okay, good, because I wasn't that big of a fan of that. The person that won this has not been seeing this tournament yet. We have another new person in round in the last round? <laughs> so, both of our winners went all in. Just one whiskey. All in with one whiskey, <laughs> which I can't be... I'm pretty stoked about. Who is this one? Who is this from? Laura Brazil. Oh, really? This oh, is right. a 14-year, 118 proof. Wow. Lucky Seven, the proprietor, 14 years. Which, of course, we have not had yet. I don't know anything about it. Never seen that bottle. Don't know anything at all about it. I don't. I, I think it maybe it's sourced, but I couldn't tell you where from. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So... I love that if we're in Vegas, you're like, I'm not going to dabble. It's like the full... Whatever I have in my bank account, we're putting it on red. Yeah, you bet it all on black <laughs> or red. Unbelievable. I'm... I'm gobsmacked right now. I am absolutely shocked. Yeah. So there you have it. I don't want to talk about this too much because we'll get to it tomorrow. We're going to yeah. be talking about it on live streams throughout the month of December here. This is unbelievable. We've climbed the Whiskey Mountain. We wrapped up the entire tournament, made it all the way to day 23. And at the top of the mountain, we find Marty from Whiskey Nose and Laura Brazil with two amazing, delicious, fantastic whiskeys. Thank you so much to everybody who contributed. Thank you to Peach Coke. Thank you to Bull Run Distillery. Thank you to all of you for watching. And I hope, I hope that 100% of you had 100% <laughs> on your brackets. I'm sure you guys all nailed this from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy holidays, guys. We really love you. We appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Do you know who looks good in bourbon van apparel? You do. Go to thebourbonvan.com and gear up today.